Hi, my name is Julia and I work for Artbeat Studios, a fine art print company, and today we'll be showcasing our different metal finishes. This is our white gloss metal finish. This is our most popular finish just because it correctly depicts exactly how like you upload your photo so it's it's a more accurate depiction of what you're gonna um want the gloss does show the vibrancy and the depth that a lot of people are looking for it is very like high gloss as you can see so there is a, quite a lot of reflection but at the same time it does show exactly like that that depth that you want in a picture i think this would be a great option if this is going to be your first order this is our white satin finish. This is, I would say, a lot of people are finding out about this one right now just because it is. So it's kind of like the white gloss, but it has a little bit less reflection. So it does have that same, like you can see the light in it, but it softens it a bit. So I think that's why it appeals more to people who are doing galleries or doing shows because there's a lot of light hitting those pictures. So this still gives that depth and vibrancy, but it does soften the light hitting it. So I think this is a great option if you're gonna be doing like shows or galleries and selling it to people. It's, it's really, it still gives a great finish. This is our white matte finish. So this one is perfect if you have a lot of sun or light exposure. This is going to completely reduce the glare. As you can see, I move it here. All you see is the light kind of bouncing off of it. You don't really see that reflection like you did in the satin or in the white gloss. Um, so the white matte does showcase your image, just how like the white gloss was, just because with the white in the back, it does showcase that image forward. Um, I would say that with the reducing glare, a lot of people like this just because if they're going to be putting a spotlight on this image or if there's gonna be a lot of sun, um, it completely reduces that, that glare. So you don't have to worry about that. I would say some people don't like how um, it doesn't have that depth in it, like the white gloss and the white matte, just because there is no gloss, there's no shine. But at the end of the day, it does really depict your image how I think you would want it to. So the white satin is a great in-between with the white gloss and white matte. It still gives you that vibrancy, but also gives you that reduce and glare that you might be looking for. This is the silver gloss. So I have to say, this is one of our most unique prints that I think we have here. Um, it really takes the lighter colors and the whites in your image and shows them as silver aluminum. So a lot of the darker colors are gonna be really showcased, especially in this image that we have here. Um, I would say a suggestion if you're looking to do this finish is to add a lot of contrast to your image and brighten it up a little bit because as you can see, it does darken your image compared to the other examples that we have here. Um, so you can see that a lot of the colors are kind of almost three dimensional because it does showcase those darker colors while putting the whiter colors in the back. But I would say if you do have any questions, feel free to call customer service, maybe even send us an image. Um, we would be happy to help with um, if your image would be right for this one. This is the textured matte. I would say the textured matte is a really hit or miss with people. Some people love it, some people hate it. I would say if you're going to pick an image for this, I would go with more of a nature scape, um, something more with flowers or anything like that. Um, I would say it's kind of hard to describe. It's almost described with the word textured matte. Um, it does have that texture um, and it is completely matte. You're not gonna get that glare like with satin or gloss. I would say if we were to describe it, something we thought about would be like if you were to watercolor um, the tooth in the paper, um, that would be a great way to look at this because it does have that tooth like you would see in the watercolor paper. Um, but it definitely is a preference. So I would make sure to go over your pictures. Again, if you need to reach out to customer service to make sure your picture would look good on textured matte, go right ahead. But this is definitely a fun and unique option like the silver gloss. Thank you for watching this video and I hope this has been informative and will help you make a decision on which metal finish best suits your print.